Hello there, we have a whole bunch of allies that we can use at our camp for a number of reasons. In this video I wanna rate all available pets based on three major points. Their special power, stuff they sell and how well these annoying freaks can protect our home in Appalachia. The scale is from 0 to 5 and I hope the result will help you to decide what amigos or amigas you wanna be friend with at your camps. Let's get started. Hey there. Hello. You have a second? I have two, so let's check you out, Senorito Hardy. Yep, you're dying alright. What? I can piece you back together. Hey. I just need to charge for cost value. What do you say? Are you fucking serious right now? Okay. So, I'm Senorito Hardy is not actually your ally, it is an average freaking real life dog who gonna scare shit out of you by saying that you're almost there in the skies, but he sells a ticket to fly back and stay around until something bad happens again. He sells steams and stuff no one actually needs to buy, Don't because be Traveling Pharmacy you. is your second name and 500 renovates in your backpack will prove it. Service 0, shop 1, because it seems he has a discount. Uh, maybe I just consumed too much buff out. He will defend your camp with a modded combat rifle, which is a not bad choice, that's why I give him 3 out of 5 for combat effectiveness. But it seems these goals were his unsuccessful patience, that is why he's been teabagged. Solomon Hardy deserves his fate, and I would never be friends with him. Ok, let's move on. Hey you, are you a crappy ally as well? Absolutely. What do you need? Well, a shirt for the lead is another Brotherhood of Steel Elite Every soldier. I need, need to watch Fallout TV way. show Let to figure show out why. He mostly sells crap, but as well has magazines. Oh my. That is why I give his shop two points. Well done. Dude loves bathrobe, so you gotta change his appearance because why not? Speaking of his service power, it is one of the most crappy ones. I mean, it is literally a bad choice, cause you wanna repair your stuff to 200% of normal maximum condition. The freaking revolver is another reason why I wanna delete Dell from my building menu. But obviously, if you like Brotherhood of Steel, well, here you have why to start disliking it. Let's move on. You, human. Are you Grognak? Grognak means melee build, and yes, I am. Maul Ma Maul sells stuff for world. players who prefer unga bunga their foes instead of pew pew in them. That is why I give four points to his shop. Maul will help make human arm. Well, you could do better, Maul. It is okay, but I can't give you more than one point here. They yeah. Senorito Minihawk is a melee build himself, and the Super Sledge actually is a very good weapon to defend your camp. Peace. Yes, level 75 ghoul will make him look like a peony human, but other dudes won't be able to debug this monster. That is why I give him 4 points for combat skills. Would be 5, but he could not kill the boss. Ne 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 ne. Daphne is a child and she killed all these monsters. Hey there! Right? Sure! Sells magazines and uh, crap you won't buy. Or to not get you confused, will not buy. Nice? I can wish you good luck. Senorito Daphne offers two different buffs, but plus two luck actually is a nice one, cause you can use it with any Vats Creed build as just in case bonus. Speaking of Daphne advanced defense system, actually it doesn't exist. <laughs> Mobs will not attack her, she will not attack them. She looks like she friends and she will just watch like your camp is being turned down. Nice play, Bethesda. Oh my. Junkie Grandma has recipes to sell. Hello, dearie. So maybe, just maybe, you wanna check her out. I will give one point to her shop anyways. Fully useless. Deep inside, this character is kinda creepy. Huh. I 
I did not enjoy conversation with her. I did not enjoy listening her Japanese probably fake accent. But to be honest, she is the first ally today who gives us something very good as a temporal buff. Especially for those who use Overeater's Arbor. Ladies and gents, one hour of fixed hunger and thirst meters. Junkie defense system is called Flying Rolling Pin. And uh, it is not a good option cause Rolling Pin sucks in Fallout 76. Well, she kills someone but it is still a bad weapon. Honestly, I just don't want to show you how Grandma is being mistreated by these dudes. Bethesda played safe with violence against you children, I care okay, about other persons as well. Hey, hey. Joe B. Yeah, the dude is all about selling bubble gums, which is kinda interesting since I had been collecting them for 4 years before he showed up. <sighs> I wish he could sell something else exotic, like, uh, I don't know, ice cream. <laughs> but his rust proof effect is something quite unique and interesting, so I just straight up give it 5 points. It will be super good for those who use Cream Maker, and uh, overall, this buff is epic. By the way, I made 3 videos about this weapon if you did not understand what I was talking about. And now I want some ice cream. <sighs> I am not sure about this weapon because it uses a skin introduced in the same season as himself. But it is not something good anyways. Uh, I'll give it one extra point because it uh, looks cool and uh, that is all. Come on Joey, finish him off. Yay! Break a leg out there! What? Yours not mine! You prepare No 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 you prepare huh? Brothers TV is not about selling stuff. Hello there. He's about saluting you after a very long conversation around his beliefs and concerns. But blessing of the Jumothy is why you want this ally around during double experiment. Keep in mind, other movement blessings will override this buff. Steve's job is brain, not defending your camp. And uh, yeah, shish kebab is not a good weapon, believe me. I even had him fighting in uh, this video. Come on, Stevie, shish kebab this wolf. Come on, dude, please. So far, only Mo is quite effective against uh, some mobs. As allies are sucky sucky, but of course we have more Zeus to test out. So let's continue, right? Greetings. Hello. Are you Russian? Of course. This Petrov is not only not Russian, uh, but I he literally asks you to real. give him some vodka. Oh wait, Nuka vodka. Oh, Nuka cola. Uh, in order to receive his blessing. Uh. He kinda sells crap and uh, what else? Hmm, steam packs. Hmm. Oh, stealth boys. Stealth boys are good. What else? Aha, Nuka Quantum Grenades. Interesting, but overpriced. Single action revolver cubes, but not in his hands apparently. <laughs> The reason why you won't Leo Petrov around is a 5% boost to experience during already mentioned event. It does stack with everything else, uh, you just need Nuka Cola Cranberry. Will you just sit there like nothing has happened? Ah, okay. Samuel M. Mechanic point. gives the same buff as the lead dude from before. The worst crap ever. Surprisingly, he sells something you may never buy, but bulk Let's materials can be actually quite handy. For example, hey if you are legendary crafting and need um, ballistic fiber or springs or whatever. Oh, you are just crazy. Actually, let's see what else he can sell. <laughs> Nuka cherry, hey Nuka cola. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, actually, not bad. Circuit bot. Yeah, steam packs. Steam packs. <sighs> okay, you got two points. Hey, boss. Wrench is a crappy weapon, so no biggie here. 
Overall, Samuel, a mechanic, gets 3 points like a deleted dude from above. And uh, we are moving on. Wait. Who's gonna win? Come on, Sam, please, kill him. Ah. I'm here for the signing. Wait. This isn't a venue. Adele is a famous person or uh, robot who gives you a buff for encrypted or silent run. I just must to give it something like four. Now about his shop. Okay, let's check it out. Well, it turns out Senorita Adele sells an expensive version of you've been insulted note. Hmm. Actually, I think we can buy it and see what's inside. <laughs> Hugs and kisses, Adele. Speaking of defending our camp, well, Adele is the best. She's literally good and can handle a whole bunch of ghouls, as you can see. Right? Can't wait to see the performance you do in that outfit. Yeah. Hmm. Let's give her another try. Please show me some magic. And he's dead, and uh, yeah. We have another victim. Adele, please. Hey. I think uh, you deserve it. Well, I brought her a death claw. <laughs> and the fight did not last super long, but anyways, this dude was stronger. Sadly. Super sad that Adele doesn't use a beam of death as uh, other assassins do. Not even her charming voice to make this creature question its existence. So, just to make it clear, Adele was in standby mode three times, and then killed Senorito with her own claws. And... who's death claw now, eh? Yakisnakis, finish him off, yes. Adele, you're the best. Greetings, darling. Yes, uh, Not hey. Let's check your shop. You mean? I mean, uh, well, I mean you saw a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> and a freaking number of plasma cores. Damn, look at this. Well, Miss Wong gets one point here because she sells so many plasma cores. Okay, I think we can move on to her ability. And here's nothing good, so one point as well. I can't pronounce her name, Catherine. Sounds like a name of drag. So I will call her Kira Swan. And uh, yeah, she can kill these dudes with her itsy bitsy revolver. But uh, I don't see her as my ally. Probably she should try something else, like to be a pirate or something like that. Do you have a favorite constellation? I have always been partial to Pegasus. No, I know, Intergal. And simple. Hey, dude, what's wrong with you? I have no clue how your name could be possibly pronounced. So I just call you Ekis Erekis. And uh, yeah, now I start understanding what's wrong with you, my dude. Everything I see is uh, a whole bunch of junk. Actually, hmm, not bad, I would say. Oh, new Coca Cola, eight. That's great. Have two points here. Ekis Irekis lets you pay less for fast traveling around than travel agent. That's why two points here. Nice job. By the way, his Gamma Gun is still gathering dust in my stash box. Not a good weapon, I would say. So, Ekis Irekis is naturally sucking here. Poor goal. Give it some time to settle. Please don't tell me you're gonna charge me for food you make. You're here rent free by the way, right? Though, anyways, let's check your shop. Aha, uh -huh, recipes and food. Hi there. Looks familiar. Fire cap souffle. Hmm, <laughs> well, you so more than a junkie grandma. Or maybe I just got lucky here. Jasmine uses pipe pistol for hunting, and that is why she doesn't sell fresh gold steaks. I mean, actually, she managed to kill this dude, right? But mm, in general, they just gangbang her. 
We have an annoying musician who uses revolver to be even more annoying. A big no no no. Okay, let me help you a little bit. Yeah, actually, I've never invited her to my camp because she plays the same crap over and over again. Let me know if you have her as a pet, cause you must be a very picky human being. <laughs> eh, I'm joking. And if you thought she's the worst meat punk, who literally could not kill any ghoul, this dude and previous guitar hero have no shops, have no powers, they just useless. These two allies were before anyone else we tried today, and uh, originally we had only 4 NPCs, uh, I mean to have in our camps, right, as pets. This dude, uh, musician and uh, two more. So let's leave him alone with ghoul, oh, maybe not. Yeah, and uh, say hello to Beckett. The dude sells booze and food, so his shop gets one point for some not very obvious reason. And he defends our camp with a combat shotgun. That is why he gets four points. Sophia, aka Miss Nightmare, has no shop and she defends our camp with 10mm pistol. She and Beckett can offer other options, we are not talking about today, so let's not do it. And here we have the final results. The best three allies in my book are Joey B, Adele and Maul. What's your best ally or allies? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Well, big thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.